boarding supervisor, Mary, and the boarding council men and women. I am a concerned citizen, taxpayer, and voter. Growing up in East Meadow, I had always viewed the town shelter as a sanctuary for abandoned lost pets. I would take pride in rescuing animals from the streets and bringing them to the shelter for safety and hopefully a chance for a chance for a new life and a new home. In fact, I even remember bringing dog there with my parents when it was zero degrees out but to save his or her life. And I had a great feeling from that. While the shelter may have been a great place years ago, animals there are not taking to die without finding a chance for a good home. Instead of just listening to me, I encourage everybody to look at the facts. Fact, over 200 cats and 150 dogs without medical emergencies were killed last year. That's from a FOIL request, which I'd be happy to handle with you after this. Fact, the shelter's annual budget is in excess of $4 billion, over $3 million of which pays for the salaries of the employees. Despite these horrifying statistics, the shelter has eliminated its buddy program, which helped train the staff and volunteers to work with specific animals to promote them to the public, eliminated its foster program for sick animals, and eliminated its program of conducting meet and greets with potential adopters on neutral grounds. These programs all are feasible because they were in place under the last leadership. Speaking now from personal experience, my wife and I were turned away by the shelter on two occasions because our dog did not get along with other dogs we were attempting to adopt. Of course dogs may not get along with each other when they are being on shelter grounds. My dog, shelter dog herself, was scared and could smell death in the air. Rather than let us save lives, the shelter would rather kill the dogs our dog did not like right away. If the shelter conducted its meet and greets on neutral grounds, or helped their dog ease his or her transition to our home, an innocent life could have been saved. My wife and I were recently informed about another dog, a Rottweiler named Dustin, who could not be medically evaluated because the shelter deemed him to be too aggressive, even though he did not bite anybody. Dustin was found abandoned and kind of tied up to the back of the shelter. He was naturally scared. When contacted by a Rottweiler rescue group who was interested in pulling Dustin from the shelter, the shelter simply told the rescue that Dustin was no longer there. Only when pressed did the shelter admit that Dustin was killed. This was only three days after he came to the shelter. Rather than reach out to the rescue group or trainer to give Dustin a chance, the shelter murdered him. Again, this is a fact, and by you all to speak to Mr. Pastori on this. Shockingly, the shelter very rarely, if ever, reaches out to rescue groups before euthanizing the animals. It only works with limited rescue groups who are in on its approved list. It does very little, if anything, to promote cats, which is horrifying. Finally, the shelter staff have big, cushy offices of numerous cats stuck in very small cages located within a room smaller than the size of the office. This has to change now. We demand that the leadership be replaced 